Hi, this is Audrey Hepburn, and I'm here communicating about transforming judgments into gifts. Let's use an example. Um, let us say that you are working in a office for a company, and there is another being who has a position that is above yours within the company. And you are observing this being, and you're observing this being's sufficiency, this being's directness, this being's specificity, uh, this being's mannerism and way of approaching situation, circumstances, events. And within your experience with this being, you start judging yourself within yourself through comparison, comparing yourself to this being, experiencing yourself as inferior and less than. And you place yourself within an experience of absolute turmoil and inner conflict as you day in and day out observe this being and constantly and continuously judge through comparison. How do one transform such judgments into gifts? As follows. When you realize that you are comparing yourself to another being and within that compar comparison judging you and experiencing you as anything less than who you really are, that which you are judging of that being through comparison, be that, live that, express yourself as that, meaning you see this being's specificity in um, completing documents, um, in writing, in putting together projects, um, working with other beings. Observe the being as yourself. And within the observation, apply that which you observe within another, within and as yourself, one and equal. But not from a perspective of wanting to be better than, not from a perspective of competition, from a perspective of assisting and supporting yourself within specificity and sufficiency. And that transforms your entire experience within the presence of that being because then you actually instead of accepting and allowing you to judge yourself and through comparison and seeing yourself as less than or inferior towards that being you actually express gratefulness why gratefulness gratefulness from a perspective that I see this being is sufficient and specific within completing projects, putting together projects, um, the way they utilize words, um, the way they um, present themselves, uh, the way they um, handle situations. And you use that and you observe and intently have a look at how you're able to assist and support you to be as specific as sufficient. And that's how you're able to transform judgments into gifts for self. So have a look at what judgments, specifically judgments, you have towards other human beings within your world. And you will find quite interestingly that there will be many gifts available to self through just observing 
the judgment accepted and allowed with himself through comparison towards others. And you, you know what would be perfect is making a list. Get it right down. Have a look at the beings in your world. Make a list and write down what judgments you have accepted and allowed within yourself towards yourself through comparing yourself toward that being. And then have a look at how you are able to assist and support yourself to transform those judgments into gifts where you assist and support yourself to specify your effectiveness of and as self. For instance, you write down the being um, in the office. Um, you write down, all right, I um, admire their specificity, their sufficiency within completing projects, how they handle situations, events, um, how they move through pressure. Um, and then you observe how the being that you are observing as yourself is expressing and living that as themselves and then you assist and support you for yourself to do the same, to become as sufficient, to become as specific, one and equal. Be certain that it is not about enlightened self-interest from the perspective of now trying to cover up the judgment you have accepted and allowed within yourself to attempt and try and compete um, or be better than. Because within that you're again creating and manifesting a polarity situation and within wanting to compete, you will lose. Um, because you can't compete with something or someone. They are you, one and equal. Why compete with yourself? Why not be grateful that you have become aware, self-aware of noticing something within another as yourself with which you're able to assist and support you with? Or you're even able to ask the being, how did your assistant support yourself to become so sufficient and effective within what you do? How did you do it? And then hear the words and assistant support you to do the same. All right. Thank you very much. This is Audrey Hepburn of How to Transform Judgments into Gifts. Thank you.